In this video, we're going to look at how to create an ogive using Microsoft Excel. Another name for an ogive is also a cumulative frequency graph. So to do this, we're going to highlight our cumulative frequency, go to charts, choose line graph right here. You can choose any of these options that you want. I'm going to choose a marked line so I can actually see the data points. And this will be my ogive or cumulative frequency graph. Can stretch it out by pulling on the corners here. Um, I can change the title maybe to something more specific like the um, original name of my data set. So number of students in a math class. <clears throat> I can delete the key. Don't need that. And then instead of my x-axis saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down here, what I want to use on my x-axis this time is my upper bounds. So if you will right-click or control-click on your x-axis, go to Select Data. And then here where it says Category x-axis labels, highlight your upper bounds. So starting here with 15. Those will be my upper bounds and click OK. And now you can see that my upper bounds are labeled on the x-axis. Okay, we still need to label our axes here, so if you'll go to Chart Layout and go to Axis Titles on your horizontal axis. These are our upper bounds this time rather than our midpoints. And on our vertical axis, we'll just choose horizontal title so it's easy to read. This will be our cumulative frequency. Okay, so on an ogive, remember you should always um, see this upwards trend here. And then your last data value should be um, the same as your number of data entries.